Before we get into our segments on processing your wild game, we'd like to take a minute here to discuss food safe practices and sanitation practices. Um, this subject is normally not action packed and it, in fact it can be uh, not taken serious because of that. However, we take it very serious here at High Country. We operate under a USDA inspection program here and we have inspectors every day that come in. Uh, and we operate using extreme food safe procedures. It's a way of life for us. In fact, Chris uh, is responsible in this area as a plant manager to become involved with uh, complying with uh, the critical guidelines that are established uh, to produce safe product. Uh, his involvement uh, it can be uh, very intense to assure that all the products that we ship from our plant here are safe to eat. Germs and bacteria are everywhere and in some cases can cause serious illnesses and food poisoning. Like us, they need food, air, and water. Unlike us, they like temperatures between 40 and 140 degrees Fahrenheit to live and multiply in. Practicing food safe practices in the handling of meat is essential to have confidence that your product can be safely consumed by yourself and others. It should and needs to be safer than any similar items purchased at a store. It's essential that you are in control of the meat you process from the time it is harvested until it's packaged. Field dressing, transporting, storage temperatures of the raw and cooked meats, butchering, grinding, processing, thermal processing, and final packaging should always be under your control to assure quality food that's safe to eat. If processing in other areas outside your kitchen, for example like your garage, be sure that the area is kept clean and sealed off from the outside to avoid windblown dust or contaminants from entering the work area and your meat. Clean any food contact surfaces with hot soapy water and sanitize prior to working with your meat. This includes your utensils, your equipment, and work surfaces. This surface here is a non-porous surface and it does work really well. A solution of one tablespoon of bleach per half gallon of water works well as a sanitizer solution. Allow contact for at least a minute and rinse or you can just allow the surface to air dry. After your processing it is best to again wash and sanitize your equipment, your utensils and your food contact surfaces prior to putting things away. Finally when you're finished processing your wild game you need to prevent cross contamination. A properly cooked and smoked product is actually sterile in regards to bacteria when it comes out of the oven. Cross-contamination is very critical to avoid at this stage. For example, mold can form where unclean fingers have touched the product. Keep raw meat and finished products separate. Raw product can spoil on your finished product and cause sickness. Germs can multiply rapidly under the right conditions. Maintain one apron for working with uncooked meat and one for working with the finished product. It is a common problem not to be ready to properly handle finished product out of the cooker smoker. Having holding racks or clean containers with covers ready ahead of time for finished product is essential to safe food handling. There are many areas of concern in regards to handling food safely in the raw and finished state. One good way for you to think about this is to keep in mind how you would expect someone else to process and handle the meat that you will be consuming. Mm -hmm.